Hello. Hey, I've been living in California most of my life. Um, so they were, I was asked if I wanted to make a video about the fact that a lot of people are leaving California, why they're doing it and why people are leaving and why people are staying. Um, Joe Rogan left California, notably, to go live in Texas. He bought a $14 million compound. Um, we've also got YouTubers like um, Graham Stephan and Meet Kevin who have been talking about leaving California. So I'm going to kind of break down what does California have that keeps people here? And what does California have that has people leaving? And stick around. At the end of the video, I'll tell you whether I'm planning to stay or leave. Hey, everybody. It is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Drinking my Nespresso. See, yes, there's coffee in there. See it? Okay. So get yourself some, uh, some, some Joe. And uh, let's talk about California. So I was born in Walnut Creek. Well, I actually was born in Oakland, California. And about the age of 18 months, my family moved from Oakland to Walnut Creek, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area. It's a suburb in uh, uh, Contra Costa County. That's where I mostly grew up. Went to high school in Marin County in a city called Novato. Spent 20 years living in Sebastopol. I've lived in Berkeley. I've lived in San Francisco uh, most recently for four years when I was driving. And uh, now I find myself in the Sacramento area. So uh, besides living for a year in England and a year in Thailand, most of my life has been spent living uh, here in, in California. So I'm a bit of an authority on California and all that it has to offer. So let's jump into this topic of why are people leaving? So number one, where's everybody going, <laughs> right? Where's everybody going? What's the problem? So uh, Cal Matters here, California Exodus. An online industry seizes COVID-19 to sell the red state dream. Okay, so here it says uh, unaffordable housing, high taxes, a democratic stranglehold on state politics. The concerns driving transplants like Morris, the person in the article, out of the country's richest state during the COVID-19 era are not new. What is changing quickly is how disillusioned California residents are coming together by the tens of thousands on Facebook, YouTube and elsewhere online fueling a cottage industry of real estate agents, mortgage lenders, and political advocates, stoking social division to compete for a piece of the much discussed California exodus. All right, so it's turning into big business, helping people to get out of California and telling people where they can go, uh, where the costs are gonna be less and it doesn't have some of the detrimental impact uh, of California. Next we see Joe Rogan is bailing on California after scoring a hundred million dollar deal. So I'm a huge Joe Rogan fan. And uh, the fact that he moved to Texas, he's still doing the podcast, right? Um, his podcast is moving over to Spotify, or it already has moved over uh, to Spotify. So he's a big name, somebody who left, all right? So people are leaving. Number two, what's so bad with California? Well, what we see here is uh, some people have their opinions. Robbie Starbucks says, uh, I hope people like Joe Rogan who moved to red states will be vocal to the rest of the people fleeing blue states, right? Uh, blue states are Democrats. For them not to vote for what they fled. Don't ruin great states like Tennessee and Texas for the rest of us, okay? And then next, uh, Michael Kudry, Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, and Tesla are all leaving California, moving to Texas. California's liberal leadership and its disastrous policies are killing jobs, raising taxes, and hindering our freedoms as Americans, okay? So I'm not sure what he's talking about, hindering our freedoms. Uh, I mean, I'm here. I don't know what I'm not free to do. Um, so I'm not sure what, what exactly he's talking about. Another thing that's really impacted California of late are these uh, fires, right? The fact that so much of our time, uh, especially in the last month, we've had you know smoky, cloudy, smelly air. Uh, really kind of puts a damper on uh, the beauty that is California, right? So uh, those are some of the reasons people are leaving, right? It's expensive, um, fires, of course, earthquakes, and uh, and yeah, you, you want to save some money, get out of California. Okay, number three that's caused a big impact on Californians is COVID-19, right? So COVID-19, the pandemic, right, has absolutely... Uh, allowed more people to work from home. 
Now, if you're working from home, you don't have to spend so much money uh, for an apartment or for a home because you can work from home anywhere. So that's another reason people are leaving. They're realizing if they're going to be working from home, well, then their home could be anywhere. Right. And that seems to be the trend now. Right. We're now the Zoom, the Zoom uh, society. Right. Everything's being done um, online. So uh, rather than paying three thousand dollars for a one bedroom in San Francisco, go live somewhere in the Midwest and you can pay a thousand dollars. Boom. You just made an extra two thousand dollars a month. You're doing the same job. You're just doing it remotely. And uh, there's no diminishment in the quality of your work. You're just doing it from a different location. So COVID-19 has really helped to accelerate uh, this freedom to get out of California because people are not so much tied to their physical jobs like they have in the past. Another number four, it's a bit confusing for drivers, right? AB5 passed. So some people thought, well, that's going to change everything. Didn't change anything. And um, now uh, we've got Prop 22 on the election for November 3rd. What's that going to mean, right? Uh, Uber and Lyft are threatening that uh, if, if they have to make drivers employees that, uh, you know, they're going to leave California. That's very disconcerting. You know, that's a threat. Um, what's going to happen if Prop 22 passes? What happens if Prop 22 doesn't pass? So there's a lot of uncertainty. And that's another reason people may say, screw it. I'll just go someplace else. I can drive and not have to worry about what's going to be happening to my future and the way I drive. Am I going to be given shifts to drive? You know, if, if I become an employee, am I going to be limited to 30 hours? These are big, important questions that affect our ability to earn income as drivers. Number five, what's great about California? OK, so I've kind of rained on the parade, rained on California's parade, shared with you a lot of opinions about what's bad about California. What's great about California? Well, it's freaking beautiful, right? Uh, we got the California poppies, these you know beautiful uh, meadows full of poppies. Of course, we've got the wine country, beautiful to go and drink some wine, look at the vineyards. We've got the Calif we've got the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco. We've got the the Pacific Coast, right? Absolutely stunning, and a beautiful, beautiful sunsets on the water. This picture was taken in uh, San Diego, right? The other thing we've got is great weather, OK? No humidity, no bugs, right? No humidity, no bugs. So you get off the airplane in San Francisco and you breathe the air and it feels clean and fresh and it's not humid. And, uh, you know, the, the temperature is very moderate. It doesn't get really, really super hot and doesn't get really, really, really cold, right? So these are some of the reasons people came here initially. And this is what the reason many people stay here is it's simply beautiful and very conducive to a good life. The other thing that's really great about California is you can make a lot of money, right? So I've driven in San Francisco for four years and I've averaged $100,000 uh, per year. So that's a pretty good amount of money to be making, right? Now, if you wanna be a driver here in California, we have got uh, Uber, we've got Lyft, we got Uber Eats, we got DoorDash, we got Postmates, and we got Instacart. If you want to learn how to drive for any of those services, we're going to put links below this. OK, we've got training, we've got articles, um, all kinds of opportunities for you to expand uh, what you can do to make money um, here at the Rideshare Guy. So look for the links below um, on, on tips and techniques to make more money in less time. So what are the key takeaways here? Well, the key takeaway is I'm not going anywhere. I don't feel like my freedoms have been impinged upon. Um, I'm okay with the fires. I mean, you know, every place has their things. Some some places have floods. Some people, uh, you know, have lots of bugs and mosquitoes and humidity. I'm okay with, with what's going on here. What you're gonna have to do though, with the changes that are occurring with COVID, is find other ways to make revenue, right? I'm always talking about the plan B. My plan B is now my plan A, and that's what I'm doing pretty much full time now. So um, you got you to be flexible. I guess that's the, the key takeaways. You got to be flexible if you want to stay in California because things are changing a little bit, but they're changing all over the country. So um, I guess it depends. Are you, are you willing to pay a little bit more for the good weather and the natural beauty? I am. All right. So uh, that's my key takeaway. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this, give this a thumbs up. 
Um, as always, it's just wonderful to share my thoughts and my feelings uh, with you. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe, uh, join us. We put out one video every single day and uh, go out and have a great day. Be safe, go and vote, wear a mask, be safe for yourself and for others. Take care.